My name is Ned Bruja. I am the Skunk Whisperer, Vice President of Skunk Whisperer Incorporated here in Tulsa. We have a location in Oklahoma City and in your backyard soon. In 1996, my wife and I moved from Wisconsin here to Oklahoma. I was gonna go to Oklahoma Farrier College in Sperry and be a farrier. That's trimming horses' hooves and horseshoe. I wanted to be a farrier and do wildlife control on the side. Wildlife control, one out. When you have an entrepreneurial mind and your hobby gets in the way of your real job or vice versa, your hobby is no longer a hobby, it's a career. My job now is to get wildlife out and keep wildlife out. When I was seven years old, growing up in Wisconsin, I wanted to figure out what those chipmunks, which were burrowing all over in the yard and the graveyard in my backyard, what their living room looked like. So, young Ned goes and takes two garden trowels blocks it off and starts to exhume the chipmunks' tunnels. Lo and behold, one of those little striped mongrels went up and popped me right in the forehead. I've been after the critters ever since. We used to trap and relocate animals, point at the hole, and tell people, you need to get that fixed. Then we come back the next week or next month and take their animals and money again. My father called me a thief. He says, Ned, you need to quit trapping and relocating these animals. It's not good for the animals, and I taught you better than that. You get your tail up there on the roof, and you fix the hole. You're not taking care of their problem. You're just getting rid of the symptom. I said, Dad, how do I do that? These things chew through metal. He says, boy, that's your job. I'm a school teacher. If you want to continue doing what you're doing, you need to figure it out. So I got up on people's roofs for about two years or so, doing repairs for free until I could find a way to get them out and keep them out without trapping and killing them. People always ask, Ned, what's the most dangerous animal you deal with? My effortless answer, humans. Traditional thinking brings about traditional results. Everybody in their mind thinks it's warm and fuzzy and perfect to trap that animal and relocate it. It's not good for the animal. But when you do this professionally for a living and as a career teach other people how to do it, you know that wildlife is totally predictable. Humans are not predictable. Wildlife, I know exactly what it's gonna do, when it's gonna do it, and why it's gonna do it. You can either one, repeatedly trap an animal that's gonna be automatically replenished, or you can get rid of what it wants. So what's the animal want? All they want is three things, food, water, and shelter. Get rid of at least one of those items and your problem's gone. Not once, but for good, period. We're getting into wildlife birthing season here in Oklahoma. As it warms up, all the animals wake up. Make sure that they don't have babies in your attic, under your shed, under your house, or deck. Walk around your house. Do you see any holes that look like an animal chewed in? If so, take a plastic bag and lightly stick it in the hole. If it gets pushed out, an animal came out. If it gets pushed in, an animal went in. Our business was originally called Bruja's Nuisance Wildlife Control Incorporated. Pretty boring. So when you walk into a building and you escort a skunk out without being sprayed, you end up with the nickname Skunk Whisper. Well, after you start talking to your trademark attorney and she says that's a nightmare but it can be done, we said let's get going. Sooner or later we end up with our logo, a federal trademark, and trucks driving around Oklahoma with skunk stripes on them. The trucks look like a skunk inbred with a circus wagon. They're fun, they're attractive, and so are our services. We know how to get animals out and keep them out forever. <laughs>